Hello dear children. Welcome to science class. Dear children, you know about animals, isn't it? You know different type of animals like herbivorous, carnivorous and also omnivorous, isn't it? What they eat, how they live, you know about it, isn't it? Yes. Like us dear children, animals are also living things. They need food, shelter, body covering to protect themselves from harsh weather condition. They also need to breathe. Isn't it? Yes. Animals live in different places. We human beings cannot think about it. Like they live in mountains, they live in deepest oceans, they live in dry desert, rainforest, where it rains continuously. So today dear children, we are going to start a new lesson, the paws and wings, That's, that is a the magnificent animal kingdom okay the magnificent animal kingdom so dear students we need shelter isn't it yes we have home to protect ourselves from weather protect ourselves from wind rain isn't it yes here birds have feathers all birds have feathers feathers keep the birds warm and protect protect them in different weather condition including strong winds and rain together with wings tail feathers help them in their flight okay they fly very high isn't it so those wings and tail helps them to fly very high some of the birds have special feathers to attract mates in some birds the feathers provide necessary necessary things okay Birds spend lot of time in cleaning their feathers with their beaks. So some of the animals body covering will be adapted according to the particular places. Like birds have feathers, fish and reptiles have scales on their body. Have you seen? Yes. Some animals have fur, air and wool. For example, polar bear. Okay, they have fur. Cats have fur. Isn't it? Yes. Some animals have shells to protect. For example, tortoise. Have you seen a tortoise? Yes. What they do? They have the shell covering on their body. If somebody touches it, the the tortoise what it will do it will it will draw back its head and legs into the shell to protect from us isn't it yes i hope all have seen it okay some soft bodied animals have a hard outer covering called a shell which is mainly a defense mechanism they hide in their shells whenever they sense danger they pull their heads legs and tails into the shell as i told you about a tortoise beetles and cockroaches also have a shell covering for protection although their shell are not as hard and neither does it allow them to hide but they have covering means 
they have shells which protect from other animals okay other insects most crabs have their own shell hermit crab live in the shells discarded by other creatures protecting oneself from predators enemies and other habitat hazards as in thorns scrubby bushes and stones etc is a primary need of all animals isn't it they cannot fight like us animals like small animals tortoise then uh, fish uh, starfish uh, crab isn't it when they feel that they are in danger what they do they pull their heads legs and tails into the shell and also the shell protects uh, from the thorns bushes and stones okay fish and reptiles have bodies that are covered with scales scales act as a protective layer as they are mostly made it of bones they are little hard okay but nothing in nature is a misfit and each species have been equipped beautifully to survive in their respective habitat so now for example fish fish have a scales on it isn't it so when it uh, when it will live in the water so all stones will be there isn't it stones thorns even in the underwater in the deep deep underwater there are stones so those scales will protect from those from that harm okay so god has created so beautifully isn't it while snakes have scales that are dry hard and kneeled enabling them to either cross rough land see now scales snakes you have seen on their body they have a scales so they they doesn't have legs you know what they will do they crawl on the crawl on the mud the sand on the dry land so these scales will help them not to get not to get hurt on their body isn't it so fish scales are covered with a layer help them glide, glide through water in all conditions the snakes scales grow larger as their body grows fish grow more scales as they grow bigger so snake when it is small so the scales will be small when it grow, grows into a big snake then according to the body length the even the scales grow even the fish also so fish have when the, when it grow bigger it will be having more scales on it on its body pangolins have sharp pointed overlapping scales like a pine cone running all the way down to the tip of their tail see in this picture you can see pangolin is here pangolin you can see the scales how it has been arranged from head to tail it's a name of a animal dear children okay next up you can see three banded amodilo three banded armadillo is a animal in that animal the scales have been arranged means the scales have been made from bones and it those are arranged in such a way that it can completely curl into a ball so it, whenever it uh, it gets that feeling that it's in a danger what it does the it will curl up to curl up into a ball okay 
So now dear children, what you should do until here I have done the class. Okay, in the next class we, uh, we will continue. But for your homework, you need to collect some pictures about birds which have feathers. Okay, and the animals which, which are covered with shells, scales and also reptiles. Okay, collect at least five, five, five in each group. So birds, five pictures, then uh, soft-bodied animals like uh, tortoise which have shells on their body. Okay, five pictures in that and uh, reptiles which have scales on their body, five pictures. Collect, make it a group in the notes and stick those pictures according to the group dear children okay so this will be the homework for you all we will continue in the next class